after the Olympics and after huge events, the gymnasts are always on it. So I just figured it would be a fun show and they've all seemed to love it. Um, they've had very good feedback about it. And I was like, well, I want to learn how to dance. Just to have fun because it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and you never know when it's going to be your last dance. We know how to handle pressure, so once we get out on the dance floor, hopefully I can handle the pressure there, and then the preciseness of all the moves and everything. Gymnastics is kind of the same um, with all of our routines that we do. Last night was the first time we officially met, and I was doing an interview at my house uh, for, for the promo shoot. Well, I was told it was for the promo shoot, and then in behind me walks Simone, like <laughs> out of nowhere into my house, just walks into my living room and I was like, <laughs> what is going on right now? And then like, I, the feeling that I had was I wasn't jumping for joy. I was just shocked. I was like, what, am, I, am I dreaming? Like what is going on right now? I literally just watched this girl on that screen and now she's standing right in front of me saying hi. Yeah. Well, she, her giggle is out of this world. I mean, once she starts giggling, I feel like the whole of America is going to giggle with her. And I think that, you know, our show is so powerful in showing different sides of whoever we're dancing with. And it's just so nice to see someone out of their comfort zone and into a completely different comfort zone. And not only that, but really opening up. I mean, especially gymnasts are known for being so closed off. And I take that as a big advantage, you know, dancing with Simone, because what she does is so backwards, as in she, she blocks everyone. And I think this is going to be amazing because America is going to see and hear a story inside of Simone that I feel like no one's ever heard. I guess the competitive aspect of the show is very different because I mean, we usually have a team or we're individual, but now we're partners, so um, you have to work together, and it's just a different experience <laughs> than I've had, but um, we haven't set any goals yet. I'm sure we'll do that. We've set one goal, and that's to make sure that we have a good time. Yes. Um, is it different wearing something like this to just a plain leotard? No, our leos aren't plain, though. They're still pretty sparkly. Like this? Look at these. Okay, not this big. Because that could be dangerous if we fell. That could be very dangerous. But we do have, like, a lot of rhinestones. So it's not too different. Um, but most of the time we wear long sleeves. And it's not so open and revealing because our audience is a lot younger uh, most of the time. But this is, like, a family audience, an older audience. So you kind of, I don't know, you get to be a little bit prettier. I think you guys should vote for us because we're short and we're cute, and it doesn't get better than that.